Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is watch, watch. Now, as Moses is looking back and he's trying to share with the, uh, the Israelites as they're getting ready to go cross over the Jordan and he himself is about ready uh, to die. You know, he's looking and he's trying to tell them, look, you need to be careful. You need to be careful. See, watch out for what you're doing. Um, he actually says this later on and uh, further down from the passage where we're going to read today. But uh, in, Matt, in Matthew, we're not quite in Matthew, in Deuteronomy, I don't know where that came from. Deuteronomy chapter five, starting in verse 28, he says, Then the Lord heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me. And the Lord said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which has spoken to you. They are right in all that they have spoken. Then he goes on in verse 29 and says, Oh, that they had such a heart in them that they would fear me and always keep my commandments, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. You know, he's recalling a time when the children of Israel, if you remember, when, even when we talked about this, that they heard all the laws, they heard everything that God said that they were supposed to do, and they came together and said, yes, all this is good. Yes, we will follow. We will be obedient to all of them. Man, we know we're going to keep our end of the covenant. And even in that, the Lord was saying, oh, I wish, oh, I desire for them to have that kind of faith, to have that kind of uh, sustainability where they would keep that faith and walk it out and work it out and flesh it out throughout everything they do every day. But see, Moses is using this and he goes on later in, in chapter five and is talking about, you need to be careful. Look, as you go ahead and, and all through these first nine uh, chapters of Deuteronomy, as we're talking about this week, he is, he's, he's preparing them to go over to the Jordan and repeatedly you'll see, look, but when you get to the land, if you still forget to obey the God, if, if you forget to obey the Lord and, and you get uh, you know, complacent and you don't obey these words that I'm telling you, the same thing's going to happen to you that happened to your parents and grandparents. Remember all those who have been killed in these 40 years who have not, uh, who are also are not going to be able to see the promised land. And you think about that. He's trying to show them and tell them, look, you need to look to the past, learn from your from the past mistakes of previous generations and you move forward. And as we know, as we go forward in scripture, we see that there comes up a generation in the book of Judges. We see that the comes up a generation that does not know the Lord and does not know the things that the Lord had done because the generations failed to pass it on. But see, Moses is saying this first and foremost. He's saying, look, don't you remember at one point in time, the people all came together and said, yes, this is right. God, we are glad to have these rules and regulations. And with the next breath, they were rebelling against God. I mean, Moses was up on the mountain for 40 days uh, getting the Ten Commandments. And, and God basically cuts that off and says, well, hey, look, Moses, you need to get down there because the people already have made a false image made this golden calf and are worshiping it. I mean, just to look back and say, people, what are you doing? But the more I look at that and the more I think about how Moses was telling them to watch out, the more I see Jesus in his ministry telling all of us and telling us through the, uh, through the apostles and, and through those uh, New Testament writers Watch out. Be careful. Be on alert. Satan is seeking whom he may devour. Be careful. Be diligent. And by all means, be in prayer. See, I think the same thing is, you know, we look at Moses' last words here, in the whole book of Deuteronomy, his last words, his last statements, his, his last plea. Can't help but think about Jesus's last time of prayer with his disciples and as he was praying for what he was getting ready to do he was praying for his disciples and what they were getting ready to endure he prayed for us all believers who would ever believe he goes on to to die and and to be die a a horrible death 
But then he's raised to life again. And as he as he shows the, the people that he's alive over the uh, next 40 days and then and then as he's ascended into heaven and he, he tells them before he goes, he gives us all the great commission to go and do. But even with all of this, he was encouraging, saying there in the Great Commission that, lo, I'm with you always. It was an encouragement even then to be careful. Watch out. I'm going to be with you to protect and guide you if you will just be obedient. And I wonder today if in our prayer today, if we'd be willing to say, God, what you say is right. What you say I'm willing to do. But then I pray that we would do it with the fear that God desires us to have. Not a scared, scaredy cat fear, but no, a, a reverential awe of the God whom we serve. Because when our prayers see God as the great, powerful provider of all things, we'll more carefully watch what we say. We'll more carefully watch what we look at, where we go, what we let other people speak into us. It's like Jesus told the disciples there in the garden, watch and pray so that you do not enter into temptation. I wonder today if we'll simply watch and pray. God bless you. And I pray you have a great, great day.